That's some wild boar hog that uh, my guy child, uh, Angel, just dropped off. You can see where the bullet passed through one of the ribs, one of the bullets. And this is some neck bone. Neck bone. That's some neck bone. Look how big that is. I tell you what, I'm going to put that in some beans and make a fricassee. And then this is my... Man, that almost looked like beef ribs this so big. That thing was big, I heard. God dang. Anyway, that's a future show. And uh, talk to y'all later. Aye, oh, yeah, baby. I'm going to go ahead and pull the membrane off of here because I know it's got to happen before it hits the grill. Remember, that's what keeps them ribs tough. I mean, it's got other purposes, but it doesn't do me any good. There's a lot of fat under this one here, as you can see, which is good. And I'm gonna let that fat be. All right, so that's gonna take care of that part. And after a while, I'm gonna season that up real good and put a little honey mustard on there. And hit the grill with it. Hey, oh yeah, baby. God dang. Hey. Okay. All right, I'm going to put a little, got the membrane off. Today I'm using season all spices. And it's a beauty too, let me tell you. And because that's a not a domesticated pig. I'm going to let this set for uh, 24 hours with my honey mustard. And there's my honey mustard right here. I'm going to rub that in real good. Nothing better than sweet pork. And this has a honey flavor. Honey flavor and mustard. Mustard is so good. If you've seen my videos on how to cook a game, deep fry game hen, you see that little hen is coated in mustard. Golden brown and tasty. All right, this going to set. I'm going to leave that in there for 24 hours, throw it on the grill. And have a potty! Aye, oh yeah, baby!